Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today we're not gonna judge my look going on. I'm just wearing like comfort colors, tank top, I got my hair up, I did not bother. I put on mascara and that's it. So look, it's one of those days, okay? But anyways, I am bringing you my Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale shopping list. So basically I have been kind of holding off on buying anything from Bath & Body Works recently just because I know in June it's semi-annual sale season. I don't want to get anything now. I didn't get anything in the last couple of months just because I was trying to go through stuff and now I actually do need some things and I know that they'll be on sale during semi-annual sale. So I'm really looking forward to it and I have a list of things that I'm gonna want to try and pick up. I also have my computer right here and I have a couple things in the cart and on my love it list. So if I find these in store, then I'll pick them up. I don't know about going to the store right now. My store actually is open, but I don't really feel comfortable going in store. So if I can, I'll try and get everything online. But I do know that getting the candles online is probably a risk and they might come in broken. So I'll get what I can online probably and anything, I, uh, anything else that I can't get online, I'll go in store. But I did kind of want to make a shopping list just so I stay, you know, within a certain range. Not that I want to stay under a certain budget, but I do kind of want to still keep my collection small. Um, right now I'm a really at a really good place. Um, I do still have way too many lotions, so I'm not buying any lotions, no body lotions, no body creams. Um, but I do want maybe one shower gel. Um, I have my list in front of me. Two hand soaps, two hand creams, which I've actually been going through really, really quickly recently. I've been going through maybe one a month um, just because we've been washing our hands so much and I do it, I apply maybe three, four, five times a day at work. Um, and then I do want some candles. Uh, right now I am down to four kind of summery candles that I'd want to burn right now. So um, I'm trying to get rid of this one right here and the other two because I don't really like those scents. Um, so I am probably going to pick up some at the sale. So if you're interested in seeing what I am going to get at the sale, then just keep watching. But yeah, for shower gels, I really only need one. I kind of, I don't really need one, but I have one right now and I'm about to empty one. So I kind of want one more to last me until fall time um, and then I can get a fall fragrance. So I am going to get Confetti Cake Pop. I've heard such good things about this shower gel, about this whole fragrance line. It is creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. I love anything vanilla, so I, I'm assuming that I'm going to love this. I've heard nothing but great reviews on it, so I'm gonna pick up that one. And then for the two hand soaps, I am gonna get Cotton Candy Skies, which is Sun Sweetened Orange, Strawberry Sugar, and Vanilla Bean. And then if they have Boardwalk Vanilla Cone in stock, I'll get that. But right now it is out of stock online, so I don't know if they have, they'll have it. Um, so if not, then I'll just get Warm Vanilla Sugar. That's a standard one for me. I love that scent. It is creamy vanilla and sparkling sugar crystals, so I know that I'll love that one. As for hand creams, I have the Strawberry Pound Cake one in my cart. I do like strawberry scents. Um, this is fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. So I think that I'll really love that one for the summertime. And then vanilla buttercream, just a standard vanilla scent. Tahitian vanilla, whipped buttercream, and powdered sugar. There's no way I'm not gonna love that. So I have those two in there. And I'm not gonna pick up any pocket bags because I personally don't need any. I have about six left over still. So if I do need some, I can pick them up later, but I don't need any right now. So I don't feel like I should get some, if, especially right now, if I don't need them. So time for candles. So for candles, I have had my eye on this one particular collection. I don't know what it's called, but they all have the same kind of packaging. They all came out in maybe like early February, late January. Um, and they're a bunch of bakery scents. I love, love, love bakery scents. So the first one is Frosted Sugar Cookie. It is vanilla frosting, warm brown sugar, and cookie crust. I've heard really good things about this. 
And this, I feel like if I don't use it now in the summer, then I can use it like pretty much any time of year. Um, and then I have cinnamon sugar donut. For some reason, I have been craving donut scents and I love anything cinnamon. So I figure I'll really love this. It is fresh ground cinnamon, sugar crystal, crystals, and Tahitian vanilla bean. So that one sounds really good as well. And then white caramel cold brew. I have had this before and I had it when they did the um, like city collection um, in the Seattle one. It was like Seattle packaging and it is cold brew coffee, vanilla sweet cream, and warm caramel drizzle. This has to be my favorite candle of all time. I love coffee candles. Uh, I just need this one. I, I need it, okay. And then vanilla chai latte. So I did have a, um, what was it called? Chai something hand soap for the winter time last year and absolutely loved it. So I'm really hoping that this candle will be similar. It is steamed coconut milk, chai spices, vanilla bean, and black tea. So I think that I'll really like that one and that one will be kind of a calming scent with the chai in it. And the other two are pie scents. So I have blueberry pie, which I've heard amazing things about. It is juicy blueberries, flaky crust, and sugar crystals. I figure like a berry scent will be really good for either transitioning from summer to fall or just summer. So that one sounds really good. I'm interested in seeing what the flaky crust smells like. I've never had a pie candle, so we'll see. And then the other one is warm apple pie, which is in the 4th of July wrapping. Um, it's baked Granny Smith apple, melted brown sugar, and flaky homemade crust. I'm really excited to see how that one smells. Um, I may only pick up one of the pie scented candles just because right now I'm at like six, I think. So that is kind of a lot, but um, we'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll smell these in store, I don't know. And then I have two that I could go either way. I could get them and I could not get them. I have them right now in my cart as the single wicks. I don't really remember if the single wicks go on sale. Right now they're two for 20, which is not a good deal because you can get the three wick candles for $10 during semi-annual sale. Um, I don't remember if the single wicks go much more sale than that. I think one time I've gotten them like $7.95 before. I, I don't know, but um, I do want the eucalyptus mint one. I have one currently going in my bathroom and I use it kind of every pamper day and I've absolutely loved it. And I just like, I don't know, I love the smell of it. It really calms me. Um, it is eucalyptus, mint, and clary sage with essential oils. Um, it just smells really good. And right now I'm lower than half on that one. So I do want to get a new one, whether that's in a single wick or a three wick, I don't really care, but um, I do kind of want to get that one for some my annual sale. And then the last one, I don't know. I might have to smell this one before I commit to it, but it is the vanilla patchouli aromatherapy candle in comfort. It is vanilla extract and patchouli oil. So I do have patchouli in a few of the other scents that I've had before. I know I love vanilla. I just kind of want to try this one. I don't know. The, the only aromatherapy I've ever tried was um, that eucalyptus mint candle. And I do actually have a sleep body lotion for one. I do actually have this sleep body lotion from 2015. Uh, pretty old, but it's black chamomile. Um, so I don't really have a lot of experience with the aromatherapies, but I do kind of want to try the vanilla patchouli one just because I think that I'll like it. Maybe I won't. So I kind of only plan on getting that in the one wick. And if I don't get it in the one wick, then I'm not, I'm not too pressed if I don't get it. So currently full price, um, if I were to buy all the things that I said, it would be $235. I'm definitely not going to pay that much. So, um, I don't know what it'll be whenever the sale happens, um, but I know my candles will not be $24.50. If they're half off, I'm happy to get them. If they're 75% off, then I'm even happier, so. But yeah, stay tuned. Um, if you wanna see what I actually do end up picking up from this semi-annual sale, I'm really excited to get my hands on this stuff. Um, and I have heard, okay, I have not been getting any coupons either to my email or actual like direct mail in my mailbox. So I've heard that if you uh, talk to the support chat 
um, that they will give you a coupon code. So I might do that before I check out and see if they have like a 20% off or a free shipping or free product under whatever, 650 or something. Um, so I might try doing that um, if I can't get any coupons because right now I don't know what it is. I just am not getting any coupons. But yeah, let me know what you are looking forward to picking up at the semi-annual sale. And thank you so much for watching. Give me a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!